Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you uh, something very interesting is you could do that at home you know we all like uh, hot curries and we use hot spice and things like that and we, if you want to use raw spice and and these um, we tend to grow some uh, year in year out sometimes they grow sometimes they don't depending on the weather in London so this year we had a fantastic harvest of uh, Naga chilies, the Naga, Mr. Naga chili, the, the Dorset but Naga big ones, look at this. Now I'm just showing you, you can achieve this using a pot. If you, if you don't have garden, all you need to do is grow some on your um, you can grow at home actually, right temperature, right sort of soil, look, you can do that, grow naga chili at home. And this year it's been a, a tremendous, um, uh, uh, loads of fruits, loads of, loads of naga grown to th this year. And we've got so much of this stuff. What we do, you think, you know, making a naga pickle? Yeah, we have to end up making naga pickle for this. Because we got, we got a loads of this stuff. And we have here some uh, green, green chilies or black green chilies. They're really, really, really tremendously hot. These ones, these little chilies. Alright, let's go up a bit. I mean, we've grown some. We just decided to put on top of the the plank here so it gets a lot of sunshine. There we are, as you can see, look at this. Fantastically green naga chili. Tremendous! Look at the look at the bright evergreen foliage on that naga tree. Look at the fruit! Beautiful. Taste heavenly taste. If you can stand the heat. Anyway, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. And we all grown on this. These on the tub. You know, plastic tubs. The planters, you know, the plastic planters. There's again, so you can't see it. So let me hold this up. I'm going to show you. If I go down a bit, let's bring it out. And again, look, look at it. These are like a really dark, dark chilies. Tasty, but very, very, very extremely hot. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the varieties are, but there you go. When you make curries, stick a couple of those. So here, this this plant, a lot of foliage, but we do have uh, here down here a lot of fruit. Yeah, see that. But now we are coming up to the winter period in London, so a lot of these plants will die back. So we're in August 2018. So literally it's autumn now here in London, end of August. Autumn time. So these will die back. So either what we do, we cut them back and cover it up for the winter. And hopefully next summer they will come alive again. Other than that, then we have to start again, I guess, next year. So, yeah. I mean, if you have the garden, if you have the space and all these pots, you can literally do any sort of thing, really. You can literally grow, grow all sort of stuff, you know, if you're into that kind of thing, like there's a bit of... Um, 
brinjal or wedging eggplant and also in a tub so it's possible to grow stuff on the pot or planter uh, in here in this plant planter we have uh, some mint very very tasty this means uh, absolutely the smell on these things uh, really really breathtaking smells uh, the fragrance is incredible the mint we planted a couple of years ago it keeps on growing and growing ever it just ever grows itself green right so once again thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please click like and subscribe button and yeah go and try if you live in a hot, hotter climate now here in London so go and do some yeah plant plant much much uh, vegetation as you can you know a lot of the spices you can plant yourself you get satisfaction when you eat it your own grown stuff rather than buying in the supermarkets things like that so yeah thank you so much and please click like and subscribe button thank you